In this tutorial, we will be discussing how the graph editor works. I can show you some of the basics of how to use the graph editor when it comes to computer animation. To create a keyframe in the timeline, press M, but make sure you have the bone selected. You can use the bracket keys to jump to any key you want. You can copy and paste them by right-clicking or Ctrl C and V. To select all the key frames, hold down the Shift key to select all. Or you can hold down the Ctrl key to select multiple keys. You can also delete the keys if you want to make some changes, just in case. Now let's go through all of these tools on what they can do. The Selection Tool You can highlight the dots under the keyframe, and you can use the middle mouse to move them around. Plus if you hold down Shift, you can go side to side. You can also select the edge of the dot and use the middle mouse to change curves. And if you hold down the control key and middle mouse, you can move one part of the curve. The move tool. This can only be affected by the selection tool. When you move the key frames around by left clicking or middle mouse, or shift to go side to side. The Pan tool. You can pan the timeline to move wherever you want, or Alt Middle Mouse. You can use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out, or hold down Control and Mouse Wheel. If you hold down the Alt key and right mouse, you can zoom in and out of the timeline. The Scale tool. You can scale the dots in the timeline, or hold down Ctrl right mouse. If you hold down the Shift key, you can scale them side to side. The Zoom tool. You can zoom in and out of the timeline, or hold down the Ctrl key, right mouse to move the keyframes. The Linear Tangent makes the animation linear and robotic. The flat tangent makes the animation flat like the linear. The spline tangent smooth out the animation to make it more appealing. The step tangent jumps from keyframe to keyframe, very useful for storyboarding. The unified tangent smooth out one part of the animation curves. The Equalize Tangent equalizes the curves after shifting it. Weighted Tangent and Unweighted Tangent this weights the curves how long and short you want it. Unweighted is you can't go far to weight the length of the curves. The toggle offset mode. If you place some key frames, it will not overwrite the animation. And you can also shift the timeline around. The automatic frame curves. 
It will overwrite the animation, but if you set one keyframe and use the middle mouse, you can shift some parts of the bone's motion. And you can hold down the shift key and middle mouse to go side to side. The normalize curves display. This does the same thing but moving the entire parts of the motion by clicking on the curves. By default in the key modes, it's set to spline, which smooths out the animation. The linear makes the animation flat and robotic. The curve fit simulates a linear but eases in and out. The step is to jump from keyframe to keyframe. This section next to the timeline are the bones. And you can change them from position and rotation. So that's pretty much it. Hopefully you find this tutorial very useful. And in the later tutorial, we will be getting into the fun part of the animation process. Make sure to click that notification bell to never miss another video. Subscribe and leave a like, and I will see you next time.